Workplaces can give people the opportunity to be productive, be a part of a team, and contribute to their community, all of which benefit employee well-being. Yet workplaces can also be a stressful environment that can worsen our mental and emotional health if certain situations aren't appropriately addressed. Hello from the Laborers Health and Safety Fund of North America. I'm Emily Smith, Health Promotion Manager here at the fund. Workplace violence, including bullying and harassment, is not a new problem on construction sites. However, changing social attitudes and a better understanding of the mental and emotional health effects of workplace violence are making people realize it should no longer be tolerated. Creating a culture of trust in the workplace is essential to stopping workplace violence. Workers may be reluctant to report a colleague, especially if someone's behavior is threatening or speaking up could cost someone their job. Because doing nothing could have serious impacts on people's health and safety, workers need to be encouraged to report concerning behavior and need to feel confident that sensitive issues will be addressed discreetly. Employers can create trust with workers by building a positive organizational culture based on core values that are shared by the owner, company, union representatives, and all subcontractors. Prioritizing values such as respect and fairness, trust and integrity, teamwork, worker engagement, accountability, and appropriate use of power in leadership positions can greatly shape the tone of a project. Leaders at all levels of an organization have a responsibility in shaping job site culture, supporting worker health and well-being, and sending the message that workplace violence isn't acceptable and won't be tolerated. What steps can an employer take to keep their work site safe and protect their workforce? Educate the workforce on what workplace violence is. Establish a zero tolerance policy for workplace violence. Clearly and routinely explain professional conduct and expectations to workers. Have procedures in place that give workers safe channels to report workplace violence, including bullying and harassment. Create specific procedures for dealing with workplace threats and emergencies. Respond to potential threats and escalating situations by using resources from within the organization and from local law enforcement. Prompt reporting is essential in any workplace violence incident. Take all threats seriously. What's the alternative to doing nothing to prevent workplace violence? For laborers, it's a potential impact on their mental and physical health, including possible injury and decreased morale. For signatory contractors, it's a potential liability that also impacts the production schedule and your bottom line. For more information about workplace violence, reach out to the Fund's Health Promotion Division or leave us a comment below. Thanks and stay safe out there.